What do you think of the new electric Camino, boys? <laughs> I love it, man. I'm recording. Start it up. All right, here we go. Listen to that. What do you think, fat boy? I love the way she purrs. Oh, yeah. Get, her. Get out of my sir. sir. Frickin' cast, man. Are you going? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Think people can take me serious like this? I'm pissed! I'm sick of the freaking bullying! I'm sick of the trash talk! I am sick of every single person out there making fun of the fucking future, dude! It's time to PDS. Do you know what PDS means? It's pack, dip, spit. If you ain't doing it at home, it's all right. No worries, no discrimination here. Rambler Brew Beer today. Rambler. Check me out on Spotify. Oh my gosh. Look at that black goodness. That's the one. You already dipping? I'm already dipping. What the dick? He PDS before we were supposed to even PDS? That's a freaking sin. All right, all right, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Man, I've been, uh, nobody's really talking about this. Nobody's uh, really, gosh dang man, I think we need some phone books. Nobody's really talking about this situation right now because you know there's other more important things going on in the world obviously. But I wanted to shed some light on that situation and talk about this today. And I, and I hope when you watch this, y'all are gonna stop freaking hating, dude. Because it's the fucking future, bro. Ugh, I should probably stop cussing because today, the mud jug of the day is the Trinity Mud Jug. Oh, baby. Uh, we support God here. That much up. Ugh, greatest spittoon to the moon, dog. Speaking of the moon, let's talk about Elon Musk real quick. We went to the freaking moon the first time since, two, was it 2011, Elon? Sure. I think it's 2011. All right, now check this out. Did, did I say they went to the moon? Yeah. Yeah, they didn't go to the moon. Anyway, speaking of Elon Musk, the dude owns Tesla as well. And everybody months and months ago, actually it was about a year ago now, was talking when Elon Musk came out about the Tesla truck. And there was so much hate. And then there was also the people like, oh yeah, this is kind of cool, I'm gonna pre-order it. And a bunch of people freaking lied and said they pre-ordered it. And I was like, okay, yeah, right. Who has that kind of money to pre-order this son of a dick? They're like, oh, I'll, I'll find a way, man. I'll find a way to get like 30, 40 grand by then, you know, obviously. Did I pre-order a Tesla truck? A lot of people asked me. A lot of people figured I did because everybody on social media said they did. I did not. And I'm gonna get into why I didn't in this video. But what I'm about to say today might interest you guys not just at the Tesla truck, but at electric trucks in general. Let me give you an example. Hey, fat boy. Yo. Uh, Tesla truck comes out a couple years. Will you buy it? No, I'm just, no, no, no. Ford. Ford comes out with an electric truck next year. Are you on the list to buy? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. I thought you for sure were going to say no. Why, why do you say yeah, you would? You're for, just give me three words. Well, why? Uh, or six, I don't know. I don't know. How many words should I get? Seven, eight. Curiosity. I mean, you can't stop progress. It's gonna find a way. God dang, man. All right, you can just stop talking right there. Gosh dang, fat boy. You, you know what, dude? I, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed, I'll say that right now. I thought fat boy was gonna be complete ignorant. He was gonna be completely ignorant. And I know a lot of you watching this right now are gonna be completely ignorant. Hey, God! Go make me get rid of my gosh dang Duramax Cummins 4x4, you son of a bitch. But I'm gonna try to make some good points and change your freaking mind right now. As you guys are seeing right now, I, I, I might be possibly a fan of all these new electric trucks. Let me state some freaking facts real quick, all right? The facts are, in the United States of America, this great country that we live in, top selling vehicular in the United States is a truck. Oh, wait a second, that's not it. The number two selling vehicular in the United States is a truck. Oh, wait, that's not it. Oh, also the third vehicular, most ve sold vehicular in the, in the United States is a truck, all right? So the top three sold vehicle. God dang, why can't I talk today? You got any more of that math? No, you had the last of it this morning. So with trucks being the top three most sold vehiculars in the United States, I think one of the first things we're going to see when this electric vehicular uh, uh, storm happens and all these manufacturers start to do it, trucks are going to be some of the most popular. Now, I think a lot of people have a lot of hate, man. A lot of hate. I'm going to bring it back one time. Remember when, uh, remember when this, uh, well, it was a little bit shorter and went a little bit of a different color? 
You remember that? And I bought me a freaking Tesla to match that son of a dick. You guys remember that? I'm sure a lot of you do. And I'm sure a lot of you aren't watching this video because you think it was freaking real. <laughs> oh God. But that was the first time, believe it or not, that I ever drove a Tesla. And I was actually super impressed. I couldn't believe how cool it was. Like I, I felt like I was legit in a spaceship and there's no controls. Everything's on a giant flat screen. And that's it. That's how all vehiculars are gonna be in the future, dog. We're talking about the future today, man. We ain't talking about the past, man. These Duramax Cummins 4x4s with them Honda Ridge lines with the gosh dang freaking power stroke in it, man. No, we ain't talking about that no more, dog. I think once these electric trucks start to come out, in law, mm -hmm. I think these truck stereotypes of people are gonna start going away. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, the little, <laughs> yeah. you know, a you know, little bit of this, yeah. you know? I think these electric trucks are gonna save that, you know? Cause these truck stereotypes nowadays, man, they're insane, bro. Mm -hmm. I see people, I, I can't help myself sometimes. I see these people driving down the road and I'm just like, I'm, I'm judging you right now, you know? I, I can't help it. All these, uh, you know, I, I, I tell people they shouldn't be judgmental, but I, I can't help do it myself sometimes when I see these people in some of these trucks, man. You know what I'm talking about? Here's my 96 Ford Bronco XLT, real tree edition. Nice and reliable, and I've only had to replace a few things. Kind of like the shocks, transmission, the ball joints, the U joints, the transmission steering wheel. I stereo had to upgrade that because it was, you know, broken. It was from a Chevy. I got a 2015 uh, Chevy Colorado uh, truck. Got these tires, you know, you know, got a lot of grip. It really grips the asphalt and, you know, gets me through whatever I need, like, uh, you know, like crazy rain at the mall or actually, do we have to put that part in? <laughs> Well, I could get into all the specifics and everything, but um, at a shop, do it mostly. Roof rack, carry all my overland gear in case we go camping out in the, uh, Mount Everest. Uh, bed cover, you know, so we're hanging at the Walmart. You know, we can, uh, me and my my girl can stand on top and look at all the other trucks at the Walmart. Wow. So, uh, how much all this cost? Uh. Uh, to be honest, um, hey dad, hey, how much did all this stuff on this truck cost? $50,000, holy smokes, man. This thing has four wheel drive, right? Yeah, love you too. So, uh, sorry, I was talking to my mechanic, but anyways, uh, yeah, it's like $180,000. I want to talk about something real quick. How's that? Hot. Tesla is the number one name in electric trucks right now because, well, their marketing's the best and everybody knows who the dick Elon Musk is, man. He's got space shuttles, he's got cars, he's got whatever, right? He's doing these semi-trucks, he's got the Tesla truck. Now, you can say whatever you want about the look of them, all right? The Tesla truck, you know, it looks a little weird, it looks a little janky. Some people really like it, some people uh, uh, hate it, you know? I'm kind of in between there. I'm like, eh, I might be able to get used to it because some people come out with trucks all the time and I'm like, I hate the freaking look of that dude. And then, you know, two years later, I ended up really liking the look of it. But Tesla's, when are we gonna get electric planes so they stop making freaking noise? But Tesla's not the only company out there making these electric trucks. That dog's gonna be chair pissing me off. I apologize, fat boy. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Oh, you're looking at this beautiful shirt, dude. Mm -hmm. Looking at this beautiful shirt, man. Brand new shirt of the month up on allymerch.com. I can't get a girl, 
but I can catch a fish. Look at that pretty fish on there, man. I'd catch that fat girl right there, dawg. This is the new Outlaw Shirt of the Month up on outlawmerch.com. Make sure you go get one, son of a dick. All right, pulling my computer out here because I watched this video. Top five all electric pickup trucks that will challenge the Tesla Cybertruck. And I watched this video the other day and I was like, dude, some of these look bad to the ass, man. <laughs> Fella cut. Do I look like the kind of guy that slept my own ass during sex? <laughs> you dang right, son. <laughs> Shut up, dude. Stop laughing. It's not freaking funny, man. It's serious. First company's called Rivion. Check that son of a dick out, man. I don't know how you pronounce that. Don't make fun of me in the freaking comments if I'm pronouncing it wrong. But Rivion, right there, okay? Truck looks a little on the Honda Ridgeline side. A little, a little gay, you know? A little, a little on the... the flamboyant side you know like oh yeah this guy this is a this is a glamping truck you know take this up to the mountains and and you can go glamping with your freaking fiance or something like that i would never do that though i'm I'll, i'll rough it you know up in the wilderness you know what i'm saying i freaking punch a damn beaver and eat it alive lord i apologize for that another company i've seen out there is nikolai motors man i heard uh The dude from Diesel Brothers talking about that company out there. You know what I'm saying? Nikolai or Nikola, Nikola, something like that. You know, and that one, that one looks a little bit cool, you know? So still the same, like, very sleek truck look, but got a couple accent colors on there, you know, looks a little bit cooler. You know, people are going to make fun of the looks of these electric trucks for years and years to come, right? What I'm saying right now is these trucks, especially to country boys like us, You know, that are watching this vision country girls. Can't forget the girls, man. Still got that 7.5% women that watch these sons of dicks. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Don't discriminate. It's 2020. <laughs> But what I'm saying right now, dude, they have some good specifications that I think are going to work good for us. Like, the most important fact that I think is going to be the best is being completely silent. Not completely silent. Mean, obviously, you still have tires and stuff that run over sticks and crap like that, but the motor is completely silent. So for us hunters that are going in the woods to do some elk hunting, deer hunting, beaver punching, whatever the tits we want to do, it's going to be completely silent. I don't think a lot of people have realized that quite yet. An electric truck that is four by four that's going to get you through the woods going zero to 60 in freaking three seconds or less that badass truck right there is going to be completely silent i think when they make that new uh movie you know the one where they can't talk the what is it called like shut up or something what's it called uh, and they get attacked by silent? aliens what silent no what's it called man the, the family and dad dies at the end you know oh. spoilers apologize <laughs> A quiet place! When they make a quiet place too, man, I hope they're driving one of them Tesla trucks, dude. Ain't no freaking alien gonna be eating my asshole. I, I, I'm predicting right now, I'm predicting right now, within the next 20 years, all vehicles are gonna be electric. All vehicles are gonna be electric within the next 20 years. I just, I just have this feeling, man. I mean, these batteries are getting insane. They're saying that the Tesla truck's gonna get to like over 500 Uh, miles on one charge that's pretty dang good and then people like to complain well you know the charging stations and this that and the other dude that stuff's going to be so easy with i'm talking within 20 years man you got to think when i was in high school i had a gosh dang tv in my room and if i wanted to watch that 70s show i had to go hit the son of a dick and turn the knob to the right freaking channel you remember them <laughs> I, i had to go to fat boy's house if i wanted to get really good reception he lived on a little bit of a hill you know he had that foil running through his freaking roof Drain a little bit of water in, not too bad. We didn't even have to hit the sun, bitch. What I'm saying is these trucks are going to be so... I mean, dude, I've got a freaking dial knob in my in my truck now to turn the AC on. That's going to be laughable in five years. It's going to be laughable. Fat boy's going to like this one. Ford, did you know? Ford announced, I think by the end of next year, they're going to release their uh, fully electric F-150. All right, baby. All right. So Ford's on top of it, okay? Ford, actually, I think they gave that company, Rivion, a bunch of money, and they're taking the Rivion engine, and they're going to put it in the Ford. And that's it. They're going to have the electric Ford F-150 right there. But, dude, I, I got to put a picture of this up here right now. This is the sexiest one I've ever seen, and it's kind of like a semi, man. Like, this is one that's going to be able to pull a lot and crap like that. It's called a, a Neuronev or a Neuronev, something like that, I don't know. But look 
at that freaking picture right there. Now, I'm, I know a lot of you guys saying, oh, I don't like it, I don't like it, but that right there with like, I mean, I don't know how it's gonna be lifting these trucks because, you know, when you lift them, it's, it's gonna, and you put bigger tires on them, it's gonna need more energy and, you know, the battery's not gonna last as long. I would buy that right now. I would buy that right now, dude. I would take that to the woods right now and go punch all the gosh dang beavers, dude. Yeah! I know there's a lot of questions that a lot of people have, man. How long are these things gonna last? You know, where are the charging station's gonna be? How hard is it gonna be to be able to charge this guy up? What if you're in the middle of the woods and just electric failure happens? What are you gonna be able to do? People aren't gonna be able to work on their own cars anymore unless you're like an electrician. People are gonna be having freaking, you know how like every single year you get a new, uh, oh, by the way, look at that, look at that sexy freaking pop socket on there, man. Haha, <laughs> outlawdip.com, get you one, dang. You gotta update your iPhone, you gotta update your, your uh, what are they called? Androids, Android <laughs> things. That's what you're gonna do with your truck, man. You're gonna have to be able to update your truck and then every year they're gonna come out with a new one and you'll be like, oh, well, you wanna upgrade to, to the new truck because then you can get all these features. What I'm trying to say here is that electric trucks are the future and I think some of y'all just gotta get gosh dang used to it. And yes, I have not pre-ordered the Tesla truck because my plan is to let it ride a couple years, okay? You know, t by 2023, 24, we're gonna see a lot of electric vehicles come out through all the manufacturers. GM has already said by the end of 2023, they're gonna have like 20 different electric vehicles, including all their trucks. Tesla's gonna have their Tesla truck out. Um, Nikolai, all these, all these companies are gonna have theirs, but I wanna wait until they perfect them and it starts to really get rolling before I buy one of those. What do y'all think, man? With all of the electric trucks that you guys have seen today on the video and that, you, that maybe I have missed, let me know in the comments below which one you are most excited about. Guys, within the next 10 to 20 years, our vehicles are gonna look so much different. It's gonna be insane. Don't forget y'all, we got that new shirt of the month out there right now. I can't get a girl, but I can catch a fish. Yes, it relates to me very much, even though I do have a fiance, but I don't think she's woke up for drugs yet. <laughs> if you ain't yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on because, well, sometimes YouTube doesn't like to put us in our sub box. Every single video I make, it seems like I have like 20 people that comment like, wow, man. It's good to see you finally made a video. I'm like, dude, I make videos like every other day. What the dick is going on with you? 25-8366, no matter what you're doing, always keep your freaking heel, Billy, son. Holler. Bye.